Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault 2, and I have been deceived. But I'm not super upset because I think everything turned out pretty good. It just wasn't what I was expecting. So I am a little bit upset with Sig Sauer, but I'm not upset to the point where I'm, you know, gonna throw a temper tantrum or anything because I'm actually happy with the product that I bought and how it works and its quality. It's just not branded like I thought it was. You guys know I'm not really a collector of race guns or competition guns. I like more of the tactical stuff. But if there's any firearm in my collection that comes close to that race gun name, it would be this particular firearm right here. This is the 6 Hour P320 Custom that I built from a fire control group from the custom shop. You guys know you can buy just the fire control group, which is the serialized part. And that's what this is. And then I bought everything else and assembled the gun. So I have the tungsten infused compact frame. So the frame doesn't go out to the end of the slide. I kind of prefer that look a little bit more than the complete uh, full length uh, rail. I bought a full length slide with a threaded barrel. Um, got the jet funnel obviously running. Uh, what is this? The uh, 21 round magazines. And because this is a custom shop, flat face trigger gun, it's supposed to be, you know, tuned for competition stuff. But I'm not a competition shooter, but this was a competition, I guess, kind of build, I guess. I just wanted to build a 320, and um, this is what I built. So the closest gun I have to a competition gun. And a couple days ago, I got an email from SIG. And you guys know, if you ever buy something from a gun company or an accessory company that you, you ultimately get put on a mailing list whether you want to or not. And they mail you, hey, here's our new products, here's our deals for the week, whatever. A lot of times um, I either delete those or try to unsubscribe to those. But occasionally um, I'll get one and for whatever reason the title makes me open the email and look at it and go, okay, let me see what, see what they got. They got something cool, new, anything I'm interested in, what's the newest stuff out there? Well, I got one from Sig Sauer because I've bought stuff from Sig. Obviously, I bought all of these parts directly from Sig. And in the email, it said uh, new P320 accessories. So I opened it. Just curious if I could get anything for this gun to kind of trick it out, customize it a little bit more than I already have. And in it, they said they had a takedown lever that was a gas pedal. You guys know what a gas pedal is. Sometimes they're towards the back. Sometimes they're on the side for the non-shooting uh, hand uh, where you can press against the gun. And usually it's using competition shootings. You see them a lot on 2011 pistols. But they had one that replaced the standard P320 takedown lever with this. And I have to say it is well built. It works. I mean, it functions both as the takedown lever. So you open it up. And it works just like a standard takedown lever. No issue whatsoever, but when you are shooting it or holding it, it does work as a gas pedal. It's really nice. I like the serrations on it. It's well built. And on their website, it said this was a you know gas pedal for the P320. And every item I've ever bought from SIG's website is a SIG branded product and nothing on it said it was not a SIG branded product. It just said, this is the new takedown lever. Uh, it upgrades yours. I guess the one thing going back to it, I should have looked at it is the gas pedal had a registered trademark, but it didn't say anything about another company. So I was assuming it was a SIG Sauer branded product because they're always coming out with new things. Well, I got it uh, from FedEx today. And this is the packaging it came in, right here. Go Gun USA gas pedal, and it's for the, obviously it's for the SIG P320, has all the different models down here, the M17, M18, P250, uh, the X5 Legion, and the P320, um, of course has some uh, instructions and in what it does. And I have to say, this thing installed great, it fits in the gun wonderfully, um, yeah, it works. It works, and it's very well built. In fact, I can't wait to get it to the range, try it out, and I probably would recommend this to people. I mean, if you have a P320 that's kind of a race gun, 
I'm probably going to recommend this thing if you want the you know gas pedal option on it. That's kind of cool. I'm just a little bit upset it's not a SIG branded product or they didn't tell me. I don't know if I would have bought it if it wasn't a SIG branded product because sometimes I've gotten burned by accessories uh, that aren't OEM because they either don't fit or they're not the same quality as what the gun company would make. As I said, this is really nice. I'm really happy with how it turned out. But one of the things I like on a lot of my builds, if I have a theme, is to keep everything in-house with the same manufacturer. And this is not made by SIG. It's made by Go Guns. Now, I know some people are going to think that's absolutely silly. And one gun company can't make everything. And a lot of gun companies will outsource parts, but they just put it in you know, uh, their own packaging. I totally get that. But I feel like I was deceived a little bit. I don't know. What do you guys think? As I said, I'm not bothered by it, and I'm really happy with the product. I have no issues. It's, it works. It's nice. It looks great. It functions great. It installed perfectly. In fact, I think it even works better in the gun than the standard one does. So probably I'd say it's a you know five out of five star product. It, it, it works. It does what it says. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's great, but I thought I was buying a SIG branded product. So has a gun company ever deceived you like that? Or have you ever been deceived by a company like that? I really feel like SIG should have said in the description, and I went back to their website, they don't say where it's made or who makes it. They just have gas pedal registered trademark. So I had just assumed that they had registered that for the P320, and I was wrong. But it's a made in the USA product. It's good. has a lot of positive reviews on their website. Um, but yeah, what, what, what do you guys think? Have you been deceived? And should I be upset at all? As I said, I'm not upset because the product works great. But now my SIG P320 isn't all SIG. That kind of bothers me a little bit. But I thought I was buying a SIG product. So let me know in the comment section below if this is a big deal or not a big deal. So, as always, thanks for watching.